found out at an early age that I was fast, you know, and so, which held me in good stead in all the sports that I played. I won uh, a, an elementary championship when I was at Willows. When I got into a more serious competition, uh, baseball was becoming, uh, by age 16, I'm thinking, what am I gonna do with this? So uh, I decided I would concentrate on track. And at this point, um, I was approached by a coach of a, a small track club called Vampire Track Club and the coach name was Dave Jones and uh, so that was kind of the breakthrough period when uh, going forward. The hurdles was a real learning experience for me because I was going from from nothing to just being thrown into it. The Commonwealth Games basically I you know I finished third or something in the trials um, but I didn't really see myself at that point necessarily but the next year once changing to the to my left leg lead I started to see really massive gains and so by the end of the 67 collegiate season I you know I'd broken the Canadian record and I'm going like whoa I think maybe I can do something here as a first-time Olympian uh, it's kind of like wow um, it was an unusual time as you know you recall from history um, there was were you know with all the unrest that was happening there and in the world or whatever, you know, we didn't even know if it would go ahead because there were all the student riots and so forth. And um, so I wish I could have done it in other Olympics, really. <laughs> I've always been amazed at how incredibly talented island athletes are. There are, it's just been a historical thing. There are so many good athletes on the island. So basically to be included as, you know, one of them, to be honored that way is is uh, is kind of special, yeah. <laughs>